What's going on with you, YouTube? It's your boy 345 drumming in today's video, man. As y'all can see, it's raining right now, but we on the way. Oh, shit, let me close the windows for y'all boys because the rain's gonna drip through. But uh, we on the way up to the uh, part store real quick, man, because I gotta return one of these parts. As y'all boys can see, the part that I need to go get is for my steering. If y'all don't know, if y'all cannot tell, your boy Germ alignment is low key fuck. <laughs> Day two. On me changing my lower control lines, man. So, if y'all boys don't know, I didn't hit a pothole and messed up one of my ball joints. And to get the ball joints changed, I was getting some crazy prices. So, I'm like, I'm not about to do them prices just to change my ball joint. I might as well go ahead and get the control arm with it. So, I went on ahead and just got the lower control arms with the ball joints. And then I watched a YouTube video. I'm like, bro, I'm about to do it myself because. It was trying to charge me some crazy prices on it. So, y'all going to be seeing me take off my tire. And I'm going to pretty much show y'all how to change your lower control arms on a Dodge Challenger if you have one. So, I think that's for like SXT, RT, and DT models. I don't know about the Scats and the Cats. I don't know if they the same. I think they got like upgraded control arms and stuff like that. So, about jacking the car up and then taking off the tire, of course. So, we're going to do that. We're going to cut on the car. Then we're going to turn it to the side so I can get the lower control arm visible for me to work on. Hey, sweet. All right, Tutu. This is a whole nother day, man. Today, we're about to go to the shop and we're about to go get my upper control arms done. And we're about to go get my alignment, man. So, in this VH, y'all about to see me make some progress on the rebuild for the 345. Because as I can see, my alignment is messed Ooh. up because my ball joints from my upper and lower is on both sides. So, that's why I ain't been giving y'all no POVs. But... We about to go get this fixed, and we're going to show you how the process is. It's getting worked on type, so I'm going to catch up with y'all boys when we get there. Yeah. Mm. 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 And so we got the Emo345 pulled up inside the shop and everything, man. We're about to start getting this work done so we can get it back on the road for y'all, man. Y'all walk around one more time. Yeah, but we better get right, man. Y'all see it, man. Emo 345. Look at the thread. I told y'all. Once we get in. Hey, look. We're going to spin for y'all, too. As soon as we get up out of here, we slide up for y'all boys. Hey, man. Got both sides off. See, my right side is off. On my driver's side is off. My driver's side was, was cool. But what was really messing me up was my passenger side. So, that's my side for real, for real that we really need to focus on. Hey, man. I don't know if y'all can see, but if y'all look right... Right here, my bushes is all cracked up and shit, y'all. So this would be causing my car to mess all up like that. Y'all see right here. So right side, put the control arms off, y'all. As y'all can see, these are the old ones right here. And this right here is the new one, y'all. So look at that difference compared from the old to new. So... We're gonna finish the process. Let me show you. And pick up the top. Alright, back again, part three, y'all. So um I had to go replace some parts, y'all. So the lower control arms was my problem, y'all. That was the precision arms. I don't know if y'all know the difference. So it's pretty much this arm right here. So if y'all see where my finger going this one with this long bolt right here instead of these ones so i have bought these instead of these so let me show you this side too if y'all see my bushings right here they all cracked on both sides so boom damn the camera and boom right here on both sides so that's why my shit was um sounding like that y'all well, I'm gonna get quad tips too. So I don't know if y'all see how easy it is, y'all, but if I just take out this bolt right here and I come to the opposite side as well, take out this bolt. It's easier to switch these bitches to the quad tips. So. Uh, can y'all see this shit, bruh? So, if y'all know, if y'all look at this close, bruh, this is metal. Well, like iron type shit. This shit is plastic, so it broke 
through the plastic and got to the metal bushing, y'all. Because y'all can see it right here reflecting. This is like a metal bushing, bro. I don't know how this shit started to chip and break off like this, bro. I don't even know how I... Man... Day four. Hey, dude, so we back once again with another day. I think it's like day four or five in this same video, y'all. So, y'all gotta really make sure y'all boys fuck with me because there's been a long ass process to get my front end shit done, man. And this shit's gonna be done. This is the last day of the process. Hopefully, y'all, as y'all can't see, we get out of line. Right. Look at my shit, y'all. That bitch. Terrible. It's it was really this side, like I said, so if y'all peep this side, pull it in compared to that side. That side, low key straight, but this one go inward. So look, right? Look at the distances on that shit, bro. That shit, all oh, supposed, supposed to be in the green. These bitches is on the edge of the red. Back up under here once again, man. So, right side, left side. So I can't see. Look at the big three, four, five routine you are. I'm gonna be taking these cats off soon. This right side gonna be my problem side, but this side I know I'm gonna be able to take off because it's two boats. Yeah, no one right there. See, as he twisted my uh, tie rod in, it's going down lower and lower, so it's supposed to be in this range. And my shit was all the way at a four, y'all, so that's how y'all know my shit was way off. On this right side, especially my main side that I had to worry about. Oh my god! This what it look like POV wise, y'all, as y'all can't see. This way better than what it was looking like before I had to hold it all the way to the right of the shit. It was all fucked up and shit. But as y'all seen in the pictures, my front cradle is not it's not fully uh aligned all the way. As y'all seen my cradle and my camera and shit. I'm not real wheels not really fuck with that because you gotta drop the engine and do all that. And I wasn't about to pay him all that extra right there to do all that shit. So we just got the alignment and this is what I'm gonna just work with. Until I upgrade a new car, I ain't gonna fuck with it, y'all. All right, man, we don't fucking made it. As I can see, though, give y'all a walk around real quick, y'all. Look, y'all see the Emo 345. But yeah, man, your boy John finally got it back done. And with that being said, y'all know we only got to end this video off right, so give me one second. <laughs>